It is 8-11. Let's get to your money now. Millions of Americans feel stuck under a mountain of debt and think there's no way out. But there is help out there. Simone Milosis, am I saying that right? Milosis. Milosis, author of Joy of Business, is here to explain and also to kind of show us this happens the world over. You're from Australia, and you were how much in debt? I was $187,000 in debt. Oh, my gosh. How did that happen? You know what? I'm not even really cognitively sure I knew how it happened, but I kept creating my life, creating businesses, creating different things. I was definitely, you didn't know it, I still created my life. Like I was, I would definitely go away on a weekend or I'd buy a nice bottle of champagne or I didn't live from a uh, mentality of lack. I still kept creating my life, but I also kept spending more than I earned. Okay, and yeah. so what did you discover about yourself that you've been able to turn into a lesson here for others? Okay, well, the first thing is I always thought somebody else was going to get me out of debt. And so one day I remember sitting in my office and I was like, you know what, I have to be the one to look at this. I have to be the one to change my point of view around money. So I got out all my bills and I worked out exactly how much I owed. I knew I owed some money. And then when I went, oops, it's $187,000 in debt. What am I going to do to change this? So some of the tools that I used, it, they, you know, I just started using them straight away and I made that demand of myself and like the request of the universe to, st to start changing my reality, to start creating a different financial reality. And how quickly did you do that? You know, I actually did it rather quickly. I did it in about two years. But wow. I know. And I was really surprised too. But once I started to change my point of view, I earned money from some of the most random places. And within two weeks, it's like I started, I got this job in Australia working with a, uh, a very famous Australian band and I went on tour with them, designed their merchandise and sold it and made a, a ridiculous amount of money in two weeks. And I was like, wow, that was easy. But I get that I changed my point of view and I was willing to start receiving more money. Okay. And one of the things you talk about is our, our comfort level mm. with um, our, our socioeconomic level. And what does that have to do with debt? Well, I would say most people feel very comfortable with where they were brought up. So if you were brought up a middle class, you feel comfortable in middle class. If you were brought up with you know, poverty, you feel comfortable with that. And there was one day I was actually looking uh, for an apartment with a friend in Los Angeles. She was looking for an apartment. And we drove around all these different areas. And the sort of middle class area, I was like, this feels good, you know. And the poverty one, I was like, ooh, I'm not sure, you know, this doesn't feel that great. And then we drove into Bel Air and I remember going, are we allowed to be in here? Like I was whispering. And I was like, hang on a second, I have a point of view about each one of these different sort of sections about the amount of money that you have in your life. And I knew that I needed to change my point of view and be willing to have it all and receive it all. Interesting. What's your best advice for people who just need to get started getting out of debt? Pretty much uh, come out of judgment. Come out of judgment of what you have created and also what you haven't created. Most people are not willing to look at the money they have created. Instead, they'll start judging what they haven't created. So come out of judgment for sure. And change your point of view around money. Ask, is this my point of view around money or somebody else's point of view? Because how many of you have a point of view that your parents had about money, but it's not yours. That's just what you grew up with. It sounds so much better coming from you with that <laughs> lovely accent. <laughs> it's very accent. It's so much more painless. Thank you, Simone, so much for sharing You're your so expertise. Welcome. Wonderful to have you. And you can check out her book, The Joy of Business. It's available now. And Simone will be host, hosting an Access Joy of Business 101 at the Warwick Denver Hotel tomorrow through Saturday. And you can get more information in the Good Day section of our website, kdvr.com. It sort of makes the medicine easier to swallow, doesn't it, Greg? It does. And so say you got a little wedding debt hanging around. <laughs> what do you do about that? Because I'm about 10 days out of just having this huge bill looming over me.